Welcome to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to tackle up one very interesting and challenging rational equation. It is x plus 98 whole power 5 plus x plus 102 whole power 5 over x plus 99 whole power 5 plus x plus 101 whole power 5 equal to 16 square over 5 square plus 6 square. We have to find out all real solutions. So let's get started. Straight away I will use substitution because of 9800 to 9901 are big numbers. So we cannot directly use binomial expansion. So let me consider x plus 100 equal to suppose a. So left hand side I will be writing a minus 2 whole power 5 x plus 102. So I need to write a plus 2 whole power 5 divided by x plus 99 so it would be a minus 1 whole power 5 and x plus 101 I have to write a plus 1 whole power 5 and right hand side is 16 square 256 5 square 25 6 square 36 so RHS is 256 divided by 61 now left hand side see now we can apply binomial expansion so i will write first the coefficients for power 5 so for power 2 it is 1 to 1 for power 3 it is 1 3 3 1 for power 4 1 4 6 4 1 for power 5 1 5 10 10 5 1 let's write our expansion I will write a plus 2 whole power 5 then we will consider the sign in between negative and similarly I will write a plus 1 first then we will take up a minus 1 also expansion so let's write first so I can write using this coefficient I can write it as a power 5 plus this one is done now coefficient 5 I need to write 5 a power 4 and times 2 then 10 I will write plus 10 a cube 2 square then next 10 I will write 10 a square 2 cube then next 5 I will write 5 then a then 2 power 4 and then last one then I will be writing 2 power 5 let me write here itself similarly let us find out a minus 2 whole power 5 where it will change the sign alternate terms will get negative signs so this term will be negative this term will be negative and last term will be negative similarly I will write a plus 1 whole power 5 expansion so I will write a power 5, then 5 times a power 4, then 10 times a cube, then 10 times a square, then 5 times a, then last term is 1. Now if I will change sign in between because it is required in the denominator. So I have to consider minus here, minus here and minus with last constant term once I will add these term will be over see numerator is a minus 2 whole power 5 plus a plus 2 whole power 5 denominator is a minus 1 whole power 5 plus a plus 1 whole power 5 so we will cancel these terms what will left after that that would be in denominator a power 5 plus 10 a cube plus 5 a so let us write so our equation will become I will write 2 times in bracket a power 5 plus 10 times a cube 2 square then 5 times a 2 power 4 this will be our numerator now come to our denominator 2 is common okay then we can write a power 5 plus 10a cube plus 5a 
there won't be constant term because it is one right hand side is 100 256 over 61 only now we will cancel these two numbers from the numerator denominator we can see a is common from the numerator okay let's take a common so in bracket it would be a power 4 plus 10 times 4 40 a square plus 16 times 5 80 and in denominator i will take again a common a power 4 plus 10 a square plus 5 and right hand side is 256 over 61 now we can cancel a and a but we have to make sure that a cannot be equal to 0 that means our substitution cannot be equal to 0 so i will write here x plus 100 cannot be 0 so x cannot be equal to negative 100 once we are cancelling a now i will cross multiply so i will be writing 256 times a power 4 plus 10 a square plus 5 equal to 61 times a power 4 plus 40 a square plus 80 better is to consider substitution once again so here i will write a square equal to suppose t and for real solutions we are trying for this value should be always positive a square will be always positive for real solution so we will reject that t which will come out negative so let us put so i will be writing 256 in bracket t square plus 10 t plus 5 right hand side i will be writing 61 t square plus 40 t plus 80 now i will take all the term to one side so i will consider 256 t square minus 61 t square let me write here so i will be writing 256 minus 61 t square this is t square coefficient now next i will write the coefficient of t it would be 2560 minus 2440 times t then plus 1280 minus 4880 and right hand side is equal to 0 now i will be writing after simplification 195 t square then 120 t then we'll have constant 3600 with negative sign right hand side is 0 now this is one quadratic equation but before that equation is divisible by 15 so let's divide so i can write after dividing by 15 13 t square 8 t minus 240 equal to 0 now let's consider quadratic formula so i will write t equal to minus b so minus 8 plus minus under the root b square so 64 minus 4 ac so it is c value is negative so this will become plus 4 times 13 times 240 and denominator will be 2a so i will be writing straight away 26 now let's see what will be the product plus minus under the root 64 plus this value is 12480 divided by 26 again i will write minus 8 plus minus under the root this whole value is 12544 12544 divided by 26 and if you will check this is square root then it is 112 so minus 8 plus minus 112 divided by 26 so with plus sign we can write 104 divided by 26 which is equal to 4 
and with minus sign that value will be minus 120 divided by 26. So negative value we will reject as t is always positive, a square cannot be negative. So we will reject this value. So which value is accepted for t? It would be only t positive which is 4. So let us consider t is equal to 4. Now our substitution was a square is equal to t. This was our substitution. So let's put back the value of t. a square is equal to 4. A square root both sides will have plus minus 2. Now let us put the value of substitution a. So I will write x plus 100 equal to plus minus 2. Take away 100 from both sides. So minus 100 plus minus 2. So two solutions are there. Minus 100 plus 2. Minus 98. Minus 100 minus 2. Minus 102. So let's verify both the solutions. I will write here check. And then our first value is x is equal to minus 98. So first bracket will be 0 in the numerator, minus 98 plus 98. In second bracket, it would be 4 power 5. See right hand side is 256 over 61. We have to match with this figure. Denominator is minus 98 plus 99. So 1 power 5, 1 plus minus 98 plus 100, 1. So it will be 3 power 5. So it is coming out 4 power 5 over 3 power 5 is 243. So let me consider it is 4 times 256, 4 power 4 and 244. So we can cancel by 61. So yes, this is our RHS. So this value is true. Let's check the second solution minus 102. I will put here so minus 102 plus 98 minus 4 raised to the power 5 minus 102 second bracket 0. Denominator I will be writing this value will be 99 minus 102. So minus 3 raised to the power 5 plus minus 1 raised to the power 5. Now you can see power is odd so minus will come out minus 4 power 5 it is like that divided by if I will take minus out then it would be 3 power 5 plus 1 same as the first method. So minus minus we will cancel 4 times 4 power 4 divided by 243 plus 1 so it will become 244. Again we will cancel 61. Same result 256 over 61 which is our RHS. This value is also true and verified. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video and good luck. Take care of yourself.